All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft's Power Toys to rename your project, your assets. So uh, in a previous tutorial, we looked at how to take all the assets from your media or your media assets from your uh, e-learning courses, your PowerPoint presentations, and then how to put them in a single folder. Now we're going to look at how to rename those so that way it's easy to find those. So uh, let's go ahead and see what we're going to do. We're going to open up a folder first. So I have this demo folder in here. And just a quick recap, what we have is our PowerPoint folder. We just right clicked. We used 7-zip. We extracted it. That created this PowerPoint folder. We have the PPT file inside there. We have our media. And then here's our images, right? So that just had pictures. And then on the storyline side, we did the same thing. Right click, extracted that. We have a storyline folder. We're going to go into the story folder and then inside there's the media. Now storyline is a little bit different because we can see we've got a number of files. There's the JPEGs and PNGs. There's uh, uh, video files and we can see it's all gibberish. So we're going to look at a couple different ways to use Microsoft Power Toys to fix that. So first thing we're going to do is the easy one. So we're going to go to PowerPoint. So I have this temp folder. I moved all my PowerPoint images in here. Now let's say I was building a course. It's my Safety 101 course. I come in here. I can add all my media into this folder and then I can just name the folder Safety 101 and that's probably fine. It's not going to be hard to find what I need. What I want to do though is I want all of these to be called Safety 101. So um, we're going to use Microsoft Power Toys. So I'm going to select all the images. I'm going to right click, go to Power Rename. Now, in this case, I'm fortunate because everything has image. So all I need to do is search for, I'm just going to turn all this stuff off. So I'm going to search for the word image. And you can see it's here. And I'm just going to replace it with Safety 101. So essentially, I want all of my images to be called image. It's going to be Safety 101. And then I want them numbered. Now you can see here enumerate means it'll add numbers to them. I don't need to do that because these all have image too. So it's going to be image and then under or safety 101 then underscore. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And you can see in the preview this looks exactly like I'd want it to look. Go ahead and do rename. And then you can see it just renames all those images. And so now I have all of those. If I do a search for safety 101, these will all come up. Now, this is super easy when everything has the same name, right? Now, uh, there's other things you can do as well. You can go to the website and learn more about using the Power Toys. We're going to look at one other one. This is probably a little bit more common. The storyline files, you can see there's JPEGs, there's PNGs, there's videos. This is a real mess to try to rename these because there's not like an easy find and replace. So how do we do that? Well, this is where you can learn from your from that website. So just go to the um, Power Toys website and we're just going to follow the directions here and just do this and you've got a few variables that you can use. So I'm going to do control A and select everything. So now I'm selecting JPEGs, I'm selecting PNGs, I'm selecting MP4s. I'm going to right click Power Rename. Now I can see here I have 144 objects none of them are being renamed, right? Because I don't have the word image in here. So how do I change all of these objects to say Safety 101? Well, let's go ahead and follow some of the instructions. If I just type in this here, let's go ahead and do this bracket, which I have, right? Um, now you'll notice I've got the bracket selected, right? So I've got the parentheses, period, asterisk, parentheses. And I'm going to type in, I want them all to say Safety 101 when nothing's happening. So I'm going to use regular expressions. Now you can see everything's going to be renamed to Safety 101. Now the problem here is there's no extension. So everything's going to get hosed and I won't be able to open up my files. So how do I get those things to have different extensions? Well, you can see I can search here. So let's go ahead and search PNG. So this is just going to do the dot PNGs. Now you can see it isolated the PNGs and then those are going to be called Safety 101. But the same thing in the preview, I can see there's no extension. But here it's telling me what it's going to replace it with. 
So if I want it to say safety 101 at the forefront, right? So it prepends foo in their example to the existing file name. So what I could do is I can go ahead and follow this code. So I'm going to go safety 101 underscore dollar sign one. And you can see it's doing that. Now I do need to add the extension because otherwise I won't know what it is. The dot PNG. And now you can see all of the PNGs are changed. And we're going to go ahead and rename those. And let's go ahead and do a control A. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the repower rename. Let's just do JPEGs. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to find JPEGs, um, JPG. So you can see the JPEGs here are selected. And then I want to make sure that that has the extension JPEG. And then I can see that 95 out of the 144 are going to be renamed. And then the last one I need to do are my videos here. So I'm going to go ahead and do my videos. So I can just select these all actually. Right click, power rename, and then I can do the same thing. We'll do MP4, right? All right, these are all MPEGs. So make sure you're using the right extension, right? And then I'm going to make sure that these are MPEG. And then you can see they're all going to be renamed. And I can re enumerate these. It's going to do it automatically if, because it can't name them all the same. But go ahead and hit rename. And now I've got all of my files in here named safety 101. And you know, obviously you don't want that dollar sign. So you could you could play around with how you're naming those, but you can kind of see the way that works. If you want to learn more, there's a lot more you can do in there. Uh, just follow these instructions, play around with it. Uh, but the key thing is that it's a quick way to take all of the assets that you have in your course. Instead of saving all your production files, just take the final assets, put them in a folder, and rename them. There's some other things you can do, like renaming the folder and everything inside there, and that'll work as well. So you can see a lot of variables uh, and, and things that you can do there. If you want to learn more, uh, go to the site and watch uh, some of the tutorials or read through that. Hopefully that helps.